On Sunday, the exchange rates of the US dollar inched lower in the markets of Baghdad and Erbil. According to a news agency survey, al Kifak and al Harithiya central exchanges registered an exchange rate of 152,750 IQD for every 100, compared to 153,300 IQD recorded on Saturday. In local exchange shops in Baghdad, the selling price reached 153,750 IQD and the buying price stood at 151,750 IQD per 100. In Erbil, the selling price was 152,750 IQD and the buying price was 152,650 IQD per 100. The S&P 500 and Nasdaq Composite closed higher helped by a jump in Netflix shares on the company's earnings results as well as gains in technology stocks. Wall Street's three main indexes posted their sixth straight weekly gain, while the Dow Jones Industrial Average was little changed at the end of trading on Friday after yesterday's session in which it recorded a record closing level. Netflix shares jumped after the streaming giant beat Wall Street estimates for new subscribers and said it expects growth to continue through the end of the year. Shares of several technology companies, known as the Big Seven, which have led most of Wall Street's gains since the start of the year, rose. Apple shares advanced after data showed a big increase in sales of the new iPhone family in China while Nvidia shares rose after Bank of America Global Research raised its price target on the stock. Netflix stock pushed the telecom services sub-index to the best performance among all 11 S&P 500 sub-indexes. According to preliminary data, the Standard & Poor's 500 index rose 23.05 points, or 0.39%, to 5,864.52 points, the Nasdaq Composite Index rose 115.30 points, or 0.63%, to 18,488.91 points, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 37.96 points, or 0.09%, to 43,277.01 points. Shares of Chinese companies listed in the United States rose after the People's Bank of China the central bank announced a financing plan aimed at boosting stock markets.